Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing um, an another unboxing from DIY Digital Art. So they must have liked my first video that they contacted me again and was like, I saw your video. Do you want to pick out more things? And I'm like, sure. So yeah, um, I did pick out more things. So this one kind of got crushed, but I think this is mainly my, what's it called? the mail system because they stuffed this into my tiny um, mailbox so I don't think that's di DIY digital arts problem uh, look at this one looks like it kind of just got as long as the diamond painting is okay I'm okay with that Ooh, let's which ones have let, let's do this one this one seems lighter so let's do this one, this one first okay there is no just ripping that open so so yeah, thank you to DIY Digital, Digital Art for sending these items for me to review. So here's the first one I got. I tried to get some smaller diamond paintings this time just because apparent, I don't know. I just keep getting the big ones for whatever reason. And so I need some snack sizes. My snack size um, diamond painting inventory is getting small. So here's the basic toolkit. Um, these are round drills, and I got this one. It's it's this cute owl like family. So there's I'm guessing the mother and the child um, or parent. I don't know. This could be a male. This could be the father. The father um, owl. But yeah, it's it's a little stiff, but. I think it eventually it will flatten out after I put it in um, under a whole bunch of my other diamond paintings. So, so yeah, this is advertised as a 30 by 30, um, but it's probably smaller. So let's see, it looks more like a 24 by 24. So yeah, it is a 24 by, it's hard to measure when the canvas is all ridgy or all folded yeah it's 24 by 24 but yeah i just thought this was a cute little like owl picture um and i i need some nice easy diamond paintings in my life because apparently i don't know how to pick smaller diamond paintings anymore so yeah i chose this one because of that reason so it looks like there's only 14 colors on this so this should be a really easy one and yay there's um dmc numbers and it looks like it's just numbers and a few letters. So this should be a nice quick diamond painting. I'll just put this in my like, in my pile of things to do when in between the big projects. So yeah, it does look like it has the item number on the drills. So if you do store them separately, it will be easier to match. But yeah, here's my first one. I think I'll just call this owl family or something I don't know we'll see we'll see what my naming feels like when I actually name this all right so the next oh wait I forgot to say that this diamond painting was three dollars and it's three dollars and seventy five dollars yeah three dollars and seventy five cents on their site so nice affordable diamond painting so the next one the next big one or I'm doing this in order of size so this next one is this is my try at a luminous diamond painting so this should be a luminous diamond painting um it's of the starry the starry night um i actually have this diamond painting in regular drills um well, regular square drills, um, but I just thought, ooh, I should try a luminous diamond painting. So I'm just kind of straightening out the the plastic as well as I could. So it is a 30 by 40, it says, but let's see. It's probably a 25 by 35. So the drill area is about 34 and a half by 25. So what is nice is look, they have like a, they have that 
like special border in the background. Do you see that? Um, but yeah, this the print on this actually looks really, really clear. Um, it looks like they ended up doing the lighter color around the letter so that you know you don't have that problem with the white lettering and the back black background. Sometimes that's annoying for the dark colors because if you don't place the drill exactly correct, you can't see the white background. But I'm hoping this will turn out fine still. So it looks like there are 18 colors in this. Um, oh, it says something is 444 is an AB. Now I kind of want to look to see, can you see it? It says 444 AB. And then I'm guessing the 5200 is, ooh, YG. What does YG mean? So 996 YG and 5200 YG. I wonder. See, now I don't normally show the drills. Oh wait, did I say there there are 18 colors and it's like all letters and numbers? So I don't normally open the drills, but I'm I'm curious about whether five really is an A B and what does Y G mean? Um, let's see. Number five. Oh yeah, five is an A B. Do you see that? Five is a yellow A B. And then it says, and then number 14, it says 996YG. Nine, I don't know what that means. Does that mean this glows in the dark? Um, I don't know if I, I could totally get these to show glowing in the dark. We might have to take a field trip to my bathroom or something to see if these will glow in the dark. Because, yeah, there's just too much light. It's daylight right now. There's too much light going on. But yeah, now I feel like we have to make my... We have to make the field trip to my bathroom and then turn off all the lights. So, let me go do that. So I'm in my closet. I'm trying to get the luminousness to show. Um, this is actually my second attempt. My first attempt, nothing showed up on camera, so I'm hoping now we'll, it will show up on camera. So I'm going to turn off the lights and hope I, you'll be able to see that these two are luminous um, um, drills. So, yeah, I think you could see, I, you could see that this one is illuminated, right? So that's the white ones, and the blue ones are not as bright as the white ones, but I think you could kind of see it but not as much as the white ones over here so yeah hopefully the real diamond painting i'll be able to get it to show up up so all right let's get back to the regular unboxing so i tried to make an effort to show the glowing drills but I don't think my camera was able to pick them up. Um, I'll try again using my phone camera instead of my tablet camera, but the two that are labeled YG actually are the glow in the dark, so there is a glow in the dark blue and a glow in the dark white. So, so yeah, I don't know if I showed, but it's a basic toolkit, but with a couple baggies. Um, the poor piece of wax did get cut in half, but oh well. But yeah, I, I actually chose this one because I liked the fact that it was a full drill um, diamond painting, but still had the luminous um, drills. So I might actually do this one before any of the other one, any of the the next one, just because, yeah, this, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to try to do a luminous diamond painting. And now I'm happy that it's not just the white that's luminous, it's the blue is luminous too, so. Yeah. So the next, oh, did I say how much that one is? This one actually costs five dollars and fifty cents. So great price, I think, especially considered this has the ABs and the luminous drills. So, so the next one is a bigger diamond painting because apparently I don't know how to buy small anymore. But I got this because it is a bigger diamond painting. But like I could see, ooh, look. There is supposed to be some special shapes in this. Um, so this one is supposed to be a 45 by 85. And 
um, on the site, it's $5.75. I mean, $5, $15.75, if I could get it out. So yeah, this is one of those long, tall diamond paintings. But I got it because I saw that there were special shapes. Oh, okay, there's two tool kits, two basic tool kits. Um, but yeah, let's see if how much of it will get into camera. Um, but yeah, it should be, it's these birds um, with some flowers and it looks like the center of the flowers is where um, the special shapes go. So it, it, what I liked about it is that it was, it's still a full drill diamond painting, but with special shapes. So I, I find a lot of, a lot of times the special shape diamond paintings are the partials and then I do them too quickly. So I've kind of not been buying them so much because they cost just as much as regular diamond paintings. Just, they're just the special shape ones. And, and like I said, they just, they're just too fast for me that, I mean, like they just take so short a period of time that, and I think, I guess I diamond paint too fast that it doesn't seem worth the money to buy them, although they are beautiful. So I like the fact that I saw that this larger diamond painting still has the special shapes. So yeah, it's these birds and flowers. Um, I'm hoping it'll turn out, I kind of, the background kind of matches some of the flowers, so I'm hoping there'll be enough definition that the flowers will show up, but the birds actually look pretty well defined, so I'm hoping at least I'll be able to see the birds. But this is one of those 45 by 85 um, size diamond paintings, which I'm guessing is going to be a 40 by 80. Yeah, this is 40, just a tiny bit below 40. And then 45. It's so much harder to measure the longer distances. 40 by 79, it looks like. So, well, a little bit more than 79. So, yeah. Can you see the whole image? Okay, I'll put you up a little bit. But yeah, I think. So my plan for this was actually to put this um, on doors. So um, I think the these long like portrait diamond paintings would look really great on doors. And so that was my plan. So it looks like this has 24 colors, um, 20 being the normal drills. I wish there were more colors. Um, I feel like this could have, been a little bit better with more colors, um, especially with this size, but maybe this will be much easier than I thought with just 20 colors. So, and it looks like it's all letters and numbers and only symbols are the special shapes. And I'm not going to show you all the drills because I usually <laughs> don't like watching that part on in unboxings, but here are the special shapes. Oh, they're in their own little baggie. They're in their own little baggies, so... Ooh, this one is really pretty. I don't know if you could tell. Um, they kind of... They kind of have like a... Oop. I hope it focuses. They kind of have like this star shape on them. But they're round drills. That's really pretty. Ooh, and this one... This one looks really pretty, too. And then the others, this one looks like just a teardrop. And then I don't know what these things are called, but they're the like little oval shaped ones. Um, but yeah. Um, I think this will, this one will be a fun one. I don't know when I'll get to this because um, I'm working on actually a lot of diamond paintings right now. <laughs> I, I have four starts that I haven't finished. Um, but man, look at this, it's just going to be so much beige colors. I was hoping that the birds would be a brighter color. Because um, I think the original picture, they looked a little brighter. But it looks like they're more of a subdued blue, maybe. 
but yeah, I have, I have plan, I have, I know exactly where I'm planning, which door I'm planning to put this on when I finish it. So, um, so when I get the chance to finish, when I get the chance to work on this, you'll see the kidding up video. Um, but the other diamond paintings that I got in my last DIY digital art, um, unboxing I actually have finished a couple of them so look out for the finish next week I think that's when I'm posting it so so yeah um so yeah my other digi DIY digital art ones the finish you should see them next week um I will probably work on if any of these be first is this one just because I want to do the luminous thing although I'm not sure of my camera ability of showing you the luminosity um, but it did glow and it was really beautiful. So I'm hoping I'll be able to figure out how to make it show up. And then this one is just going to be a fun one. I'm going to do whenever it just comes up, but all right. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye. Oh, sorry. I really meant to say bye now. Bye.